All right, the next theorem we have to prove is the probability generating function of a random sum of identically distributed random variables. So this is probably this is one, one of the most useful theorems that I'm going to prove, but one of the hardest theorems, in my opinion. So what it says is let so x sub i are independently identically distributed random variables, and n is another random variable. Then if we have s is equal to the sum of x1 plus x2 plus, all of these are discrete, by the way, to xn. So you have a random sum of random variables, because this number n is random. We don't know what it is. So the, how we're going to, what we're going to say is the probability generating function of our random sum is equal to the composition of composition of functions of the probability generating function of n and one of the x sub i's. So that's what the theorem says. Here's how we prove it. Group. So, what is g, g of s, really bad notation here. Um, so the probability generating function of s is, well we say that's equal to the expected value of, let me look at my notes one second. I have a little cheat sheet that I'm off for the final. Okay, of little s to the big s. All right, so that's what this is equal to. So this is the little s, this is your random variable s. But this is, uh, is the expected value of s to the x1 plus x2 plus x sub n. But we're going to say this is equal to the expected value of s to the x1 plus x2 plus plus x sub n given n is equal to n times the probability that n is equal to n. So we're just conditioning uh, the expectation on the probability of the random variable on the probability that n is equal to n, so we know what this n is. So uh, this is equal to sum n equals 0 to infinity of the expected value of s to the x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus all the way to x sub n times the probability that n is equal to n. But this is equal to, <clears throat> because these are independent, you can separate it out. So but since they're identically distributed as well, we get that this is equal to the expected value of s to the x to the n times the probability that n is equal to n. But this is equal to g sub the composition of x and n of s. So what we did here was, uh, since these are identically distributed, we can write that sum out as s to the x plus 1 plus times x to the x plus 2. So maybe I'll write that out. Uh, so then since all of the xi's are independent, we get this is expected value. 
S to the X1, we expect the value X, X2 equals an S. Expect the value S to the X, N. But we know that they're all uh, identically distributed, so it's just the expected value of S to the X to the N. So that's how we got from <coughs> this step to this step. And yeah, that's that theorem, probably hardest theorem in my opinion for the exam, so yeah.